Okay, this is an unboxing of a uh, an ozone generator that I found on eBay, and this took about uh, ten days to arrive here. You can see, it was shipped from uh, Chino, California. So um, this is the way it came boxed. Actually, it was kind of crushed on this side, so I was a bit concerned if it was damaged at all, but. Looks like they did a good job of wrapping it in bubble wrap. And uh, let's take a look. Oh, these look like they're pretty much intact. And there's uh, these are supposed to be seven grams per hour uh, ozone generators, and they work off 110 volts AC. I'm going to go ahead and open one. The scissors here. Cut the tape. There you go. Let's see, these are the uh, ceramic plates. And there's two of them. And they look like they're intact. And then this is the uh, high voltage generator. There it is. It says AC 110 volts seven grams per hour and uh, there's a heat sink on the bottom and this is the 110 volts it goes in here and the high voltage comes out of these wires going to the uh, the plates ozone generating plates so next thing I'm going to do is hook this up and uh, see um, how they work do a little test Okay, now before I um, solder the uh, uh, ceramic plate on, I just want to show that uh, this, they actually have uh, some plugs. Uh, this thing separates, so uh, when you need to replace this plate, you won't necessarily need to resolder it. The solder connections go here to these terminals on this support here. And okay, now I'm going to go ahead and tack solder. Uh, the high voltage wires. First I'm going to uh, tin the wires with uh, a little bit of solder. Okay, next uh, I've tinned the uh, ends of the 110 volt wires and uh, I'm going to go ahead and solder them onto a line cord. And we're going to wrap these uh, connections, the one to the 110 volt AC, with uh, electrical tape. Okay, I have it all set up now and ready to plug in and uh, we're going to see what happens when we do. We're going to plug this into the power mains. Oh, and there's a very loud buzzing. And a good strong odor of very strong odor of ozone. This is uh, without doubt working very, very well.
you can hear the buzzing. That buzzing sound is actually coming from the corona on the uh, ceramic plate. And now the ozone generator uh, does generate a lot of heat and it's recommended to be used with a fan. So I am planning to uh, actually install it inside this filtrate air purifier. Uh, there's a sp space here inside the top underneath the uh, grill here that uh, would accommodate the, uh, um, the entire unit. And it could be turned on and off and the ventilation coming up through here should uh, cool the uh, uh, ceramic plates and uh, the uh, high voltage unit just fine. Okay, here is the air purifier with the ozone generator installed now. And I'll show that to you here. Pull the top off. You can see in there I have the um, uh, voltage generator connected to one of the plates. I didn't use uh, both of the ceramic plates in this, uh, although I might in the future. And I'm picking the uh, 110 volts off uh, the, um, this is the speed control for the uh, filtrate. Just tapped off the 110 volts and have it going uh, into, directly into the um, uh, voltage uh, generator there. Uh, right now I don't have any switch in the line but I intend to put a switch so we can turn the ozone generator on and off. Uh, most of the time I'll be using it uh, without the ozone generation but the, the ozone generation will be when I do use it I'll have to of course vacate the room that it's in and uh, then later air it out. So there it is and uh, we'll plug it in and show you how it works. Okay, I'm about ready to plug it in. And you can hear the buzzing in here. You can see the uh, plate in there. And it is putting out a very strong motor. 